Good late evening, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at your thoughts today. It looks like my teeth are black. They're not. They really do look funny, though. I'm sorry, just don't look at them. Um, anyhow, I just thought I'd drop in and do a video. Some news going on around here. Sort of sad. Um, mother's car is being put to rest, evidently. She has this Cadillac, you know. She's always had, like, a large Sherman Tank-type vehicle because she feels secure in it, in them. <clears throat> and, um, boy, she got this one a long time ago. I'm I worked at Forest View Restaurant. I've been at the paper 14 years. I don't think I was working at the Community News when this unfolded. I bet you she's had that car 15 or 16 years. Yeah. And some K joint or something went. Evidently, it's major. It's part of the frame. And her guy, her mechanic wouldn't just like he's been very good to her and has kept her on the road and everything but it's to the point where it's extremely dangerous and um can't really be, be fixed it'd be easier for her to get something else so if anybody knows spencer is trying to uh, look into like a chevy impala type vehicle that's a 2005 reason being is because well around then she wants to have the thing on the column where you go into the reverse and neutral and drive and all that jazz. So that's what's happening. And evidently, and Spencer can work on a palace because Katie has one. So he's specifically looking for that or something similar. Or some people say Sim Euler. So here I am in the room formerly known as the Child's and currently known as the Lounging Production Office. It's quite a disaster in here. I've been cleaning and rearranging and getting rid of stuff and storing books, as I mentioned. I think I mentioned. Yeah, I did. I mean, it's unreal, like, vacuuming, like, the ceiling and things and shelves that haven't been vacuumed in ages. I don't even want to tell you what I found on the one. Okay, you twisted my arm. A dead bird. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It was headless as well. Was on the bookshelf. You know how when I do videos in the other, in the living room, it was, and generally there's sort of the postcard display behind me from lounging. Boy, my wrist kind of hurts. Um... It was in there, like, wedged somehow in the back. Yeah. So, dead bird. It was lovely. And I'm um, a headless dead bird. It weighed nothing. You know what I mean? Because it was... I bet you Dollar Todd killed it years ago. Yeah. That's how long it's been. Now, of course, I have adjusted stuff and rearranged a few things there over the years. But um, it was kind of wedged in a way that wouldn't be... I just can't believe it. Yeah, dead bird. Hold on a minute, please. Oh, hold, I'm pausing. So I worked it now and again today. I actually had a customer in the morning. And then I did some painting, uh, some rehearsal painting on the uh, baby food jars. I brought in some equipment and an apron and stuff. My painting apron. It was fun. And um, just fiddled around. I've never used this particular kind of paint. It's um, made for glass. Like enamel paint, I think they call it. I've never used it. It was really wild. Kind of fun. It was okay. Um, what else do I have to report? Cleaning. Oh, yeah. For some reason, you can't read the chat. You know how I look forward to reading the chat after the live game goes up officially onto YouTube, like 5,000 hours after it went live. Um, there's no chat capability of reading it back. That's never happened, so I can't even enjoy that. It's just me bloviating. I do put up some comments during the show, but I miss a lot because I'm conducting a show. So it's hard to see everything. Therefore, I look forward to that aspect. And now that's been stripped away, taken from me like a thief in the night. Okay, I just got done being outside with Thomas and it's raining and um, he's large and cute and adorable and all that jazz. So I came in. And there was this video. I don't... Has Michael Moore lost his mind? I used to really like Michael Moore back in the day. It seems to me there's sort of a um, pattern with some who call themselves progressives. As you know, I am nothing politically speaking, ladies and gentlemen. So I can have the advantage of just calling it like I see it without... You know, I'm not here to defend anybody or any of that crap. I don't hate anyone. I don't love anyone. I hate certain people probably, but whatever. So I saw this notification from Michael Moore, and it said something like, um, Donald Trump hates Catholics. Now, allegedly, I can't even believe this storyline. I, I, I started to play the video, and I thought, I can't 
it seems so ridiculous to me. Um, he claims that no, Michael Moore claims, oh wait, the progressive thing, I never got on with that. These progressives always support the progressive candidate, which in this case would have been Bernie Sanders, although, come on, it was all arranged and planned. He didn't even fight to win this time. He's like, oh, Joe's an excellent friend of mine. He'll do great as president. Uh, no problem. You know, what kind of primary is that? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. It's all rigged. It's all planned. It's all selected. There's no election. It's a selection. Believe me or don't. There's documentaries out there about it. There, It's just, think about, okay. Anyhow, they all push for that, you know, more aggressive, progressive. And then when it comes time that the establishment Democrat always gets in, because they do, because, of course, that's the way it's planned. And then they suddenly back that person, because we must beat Donald Trump. I've never in my days, never in my days seen anything quite like it. So this runs true for, rings true for, um, for Michael Moore and people like... Um, Jank Uger, I gave up on him years ago. Oh my God, he was a stepping stone, but holy cow, do I see things a lot more clearly now? And I did not mean any offense by the holy cow thing. Okay, okay. Moving back to Michael Moore, he claims that, um, or you know more about him. He claims that when Trump wanted to build the wall, it was to keep out Catholics, not Mexicans. But the news reported it as the Mexicans. Uh, but in reality, he has the secret hatred toward. Catholics. Now, come on, have you, am I out in left field here? Am I missing something? I've never, I just, I think that's ridiculous. Uh, call me crazy and I'm sure you will. Also, I evidently he claims that um, Mr. T and not Thomas in the tree, Donald Trump said something along the lines of um, that Pope Francis was disgusting. I don't think that was the right word. Something derogatory about said Pope. Well, hello, can we talk about some things that have been covered up in that organization for years, decades, millennia, whatever, eons? I think he was involved in the cover-up, so if he did say it, perhaps, you know, I might agree with that aspect of it all. I just, I don't know. I've never heard this particular complaint about the president. Have you? What's the deal? What's going on with Michael Moore? I haven't really followed Michael Moore in a long time. Another stepping stone. He's made some good movies. You know, there was a time in my life that I really, you know, looked into him and looked at his documentaries and all that jazz and learned quite a few things. Those days are over, ladies and gentlemen. It's over. I mean... These people have lost their minds. That's my honest to Pete view. Um, I just can't believe how they have to defend the indefensible or undefensible, indefensible, whatever. When it comes to these sides, this cult, this left-right, fake left-right paradigm, there's really no left. There's no left. There's no real left left in this country. So there. Okay, that was a politic um, video, I guess. Oh, well, it happens. It happens. Zoe's here. She's all cuddled up. She's adorable. I really can't think of anything else. Tomorrow, I'm getting my hair cut. That's it. You won't be seeing it quite as lovely as it is right now because I'm getting it cut. I can't stand it. I can't take it. <clears throat> Probably a couple inches off this time because it's been a while. It just won't. I just can't do it any longer. I can't take the hairdo, so it's coming off with Patty, and then evidently at some point I have to go with Spencer or follow him or something. To He's going to drive that car home here and see if he can either um, sell it for scrap or turn it into like a Lincoln Recycling or something like that. I'm not sure, but it will be here on the property. I feel kind of bad for Mom because she, you know, really enjoyed that. and It's kind of a bummer, but, you know, it was a pretty good car since it's been around that long and she's had it that long. She's put some work into it and everything, but I always look at it like this. It's better than a new car payment. Whenever you have to pay for something like, you know, Adna wasn't exactly cheap, but I got a lot of things done that needed to be done and I know it took forever. And a day I talked to Jeff because I sold him an ad and I said, everybody's even forgiven you for taking so long because 
um, it looks so nice. And it does. It looks really nice. A lot of people think it's a different van and all that. I think I'm done. It's 10 minutes of this nonsense, and I'm over it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Tell me if you've ever heard this alleged, uh, this allegation against the president that he doesn't like Catholics, and this whole thing has been <laughs> to keep Catholics out of the country. I just, hey, maybe I'm wrong or something, but it has happened on occasion. Okay, I just, I think it's silly. I think they're grasping at straws myself, okay? Silly, dumb. Move on to something more pertinent. Okay, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts today. Join me, join others. I might show you the house tomorrow. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at that door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for this. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. Bye. Live for you.